The American Society of Magical Negroes has been pulled from theaters after only three weeks. It finished after only grossing $2.4 million at the box office, a 28% score on Rotten Tomatoes, and on an estimated budget of $15 million. There are many reasons why I believe this happened. However, I'm just going to rip the Band-Aid off. This is what we asked for. Now, I'm not even a Harry Potter fan, but this is what we asked for. Uh, HBCU Hogwarts. Years prior, we gave them the alley oop, and instead of dunking it, they took it. They did a whole bunch of willy nilly with it and gave us this garbage. Ten years ago, this would have flown as a movie. However, in a post Black Panther world, Absolutely not. You have all of these people who are asking for something specific. We're tired of being put on a back burner. We're tired of being the jokes. We're tired of being the magical Negroes. We're tired of being the jellybacks. We're tired of that. We're tired of trash. We're tired of that. So we asked for something specific and it was HBCU Hogwarts. And instead of taking that and running with it, instead you gave us a rom-com that nobody asked for. That's why that happened. But I'm the type of person who loves movies, and I go see movies, especially when the cast is black. But I was turned off the moment I saw what they were doing. Okay, we live in a world where you have Judgment Day, magic, werewolves, vampires, that sort of thing. And that's what people have been asking for. They've not been asking for black people whose powers who only work to make white people feel comfortable. Nobody's been asking for that. And that's why that movie failed. Sorry, I don't like seeing other artists fail, especially black fail, especially black artists fail. I don't like seeing it. But you failed because ultimately what you were trying to get across did not read. Well, at all. Because when we saw, because most of us saw the name and we got excited. Then we saw the premise and it was like, oh, we've been asking for nearly, for as long as Harry Potter been around, we've been asking for a black Hogwarts type deal. And like, if I could write it, I would, but I didn't. I wrote this. If Wesley Snipes and his twin brother had powers, but they both got different ideologies on how to deal with the people who are trying to kill them in the world that has magic, vampires, werewolves, and a crazy ass human army that has the power to blow up a moon if they feel like it. Yeah, that's what this is. This is not a... Hogwarts, however, it does have magic and it has adventure and is a dark fantasy. If I could write that, I would. However, I don't have the chops to write that. However, the point is, black creators, directors, people who greenlight movies, if you want a free billion dollars, you will put something like this in a movie. If you want a free billion dollars, you would take that black Hogwarts idea, put it on a fucking screen, give it a narrative that is interesting, but culturally sound. Do not center the Mayo men in it, and you will make a billion dollars. So that, that, that's that simple. That's all you need to do. And instead, you feel like you have to bring in white people to the fans, to the to the to the theater, in order to make money, but well, that's not entirely the case. Did y'all just not watch American Fiction? Did you just not go see that movie? That was a great movie. No centered white people. Please listen to the fans.